I guess, like the other group, we had a member of parliament, we had <coughs> someone from industry, a scientist, an NGO, a journalist, and two members of the public. So our members of the public were also a little bit awkward sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but we, our NGO was very concerned about um, whether we could ensure our independence and objectivity, which is very similar to that came up from the previous group. I think our scientists felt that very often eminent, most eminent scientists are not that interested in getting involved in the semi-political process. So a criterion should be, can we access the cooperation necessary from others to complete the project well? Now, I think there was a concerned that the institution itself might have a strategy and at least some of us wanted to ask the question does this project fit with the strategy and mission of the TA institute itself and uh, finally I guess towards the end of the discussion we felt it was very important to specify exactly the kind of output that's required from the process and I think that came up with the previous speaker as well have I covered I suppose we, well, probably the longest debate we had, I remember the topic here is e-government, and the question really was to what extent do the public need to be involved in the technology assessment here? Um, you know, one school of thought was you need to know what the public wants, the public needs an opportunity to tell you what they need. Another school of thought would be that e-government is a bit like a black box, and if it's delivering better services at lower cost, 